Hi friends, myself, I am Kalyani Swero from TTWRJC Girls Devarkonda and I am studying 10th standard. My subject is physical science subject. Okay, after wake up to before going bed, we use a lot of materials. Materials like we use uh, for brush, we use Colgate and for bath, we use, we use synthol, uh, bathing soap and uh, for, for face creams, we use this type of creams okay what are these materials and what would we call them how they are working in our daily life okay if we want to know answers for these questions let us discuss about acids bases and salt what acids bases and salt okay what is mean by acid acid is what is mean by base what is mean by salt if we want to know let us discuss okay acid is nothing but acid is nothing but the value of ph is less than 7 and it releases h plus ions and acid neutralize the base okay and uh, here you observe some examples for the acid like citrus fruits coke vinegar and now what is base base is nothing but the ph value greater than 7 and it has bitter taste and it neutralizes the acid okay and here you observe some examples for the base window cleaner shampoo naoh okay now what is salt the reaction between acid and base to give salt and water is called neutralization okay salt is a neutral compound and the pH value of salt is equal to 7. Now we get a clarity about what is acid, base and salt. Okay? Now how we can identify the substances as acid, base, salt? Let us do some small activity. Okay? Now here uh, the lemon is having we have to find whether it is a acid or base substance okay i already prepared the lemon solution before this if we want to test we have to know about small thing that is indicators what is mean by indicators how they are helpful to find out this and these materials the indicators having two types they are in the form of solutions and the in the form of litmus papers like Litmus paper like we have two types of litmus paper. One is red litmus paper and then second one is blue litmus paper. If blue red litmus paper turn into blue color, it called has base. Okay. And if blue litmus paper turn into red, it called has acid. Now going to the indicators. Now going to the indicators, we have two types of indicators. They are methyl orange solution and uh, phenaphthalene solution if methyl orange solu solution added to any solution if that solution turn into red color it called has acid okay and uh, if phen phenaphthalene solution added to any solution that solution turn into pink color it called has base okay now let us do activity first activity with the red litmus paper now I take the lemon solution for this activity. Take the red litmus paper. The red litmus paper are like this. Okay. Now take one red litmus paper and dipped into lemon solution. Okay, here do you observe any change? No. And now, now blue litmus paper. First, take the blue litmus paper. Here we we have blue litmus papers like this. 
take one red blue litmus paper and dipped into the same lemon solution. So, here before I before uh, I dip this blue red litmus paper in the lemon solution there is no change and uh, after dipping this blue litmus paper in the lemon solution here the change is we change we have observed that is this means the lemon solution is a acidic in nature ok and now the activity with indicators ok now first add the phenaphthalein indicator to the same lemon solution add a few drops only and stir it and keep it aside. Now take another beaker in with the same lemon solution. Now add the methyl orange indicator. Add only a few drops of methyl orange indicator and stir it. Okay, now it is beaker 1 and it is beaker 2. In beaker 1, we added phenaphthalein indicator. Here, there is no change in the beaker 1 and in beaker 2, we added methyl orange indicator to the lemon solution. The lemon solution turned into red color. It means the lemon solution is a acidic in nature. Okay, friends? Now, we have uh, some more examples for the acidic in nature. They are tamarind and the oranges. These are also containing acidic in nature. Okay? Now, how we can identify the substances as base? If we want to find the substances as, as base, let the before activity will help us. Now, I take the NaOH solution, okay. Same, I take blue litmus paper for the NaOH solution to find it whether it is acid or base. Do you observe any change? No. And now, red with the red litmus paper. Okay, friends. Here, blue litmus paper cannot change in any color, and red litmus paper changed into blue color. It means the NaOH solution is a basic in nature. Okay. Now, the activity with indicators. Now, take this solution in another beaker also. In the f it is first beaker. In this first beaker, we have to add a little drop of methyl orange indicator in this solution and stir it. Keep it aside. And now, in the second beaker, add phenaphthalein indicator to the NaOH solution and stir it. So, in the both beakers, we have observed in the first beaker it is turned into light, light yellowish color and in the second beaker the NaOH solution turned into pink color. It means the NaOH solution is a basic in nature. How we are saying the NaOH is a basic in nature? Because if the phenaphthalein indicator turned into added to any solution, if that solution turn into pink color, it called as base. Okay? Now, 
we get a clarity about what is acid, base and salt and also how we can do this, do the activity with the help of indicators. Okay friends, now uh, beginning of the class I am saying a word that pH, what is mean by pH? pH is nothing but the power of hydrogen. How we can say the value of pH? We can say the value of pH with the help of pH scale. What is mean by pH scale? pH scale is nothing but pH scale is nothing but a scale for measuring hydrogen ions in a concentration solution is called pH scale. Okay, here you observe pH scale. In on the pH scale, the values having 0 to 14. The 0 to 4, 0 to 7, the values indicate the acidic nature, and the value 7 represents the neutral solution. And between 7 to 14, it indicates the basic nature. Okay, friends. Uh, in our the how we can determine the value of pH? We can determine the value of pH with the help of pH formula. pH equal to minus log concentration of H plus ions. It is the it is useful for to determine the value of pH for the substances. Okay. Now here you observe some items on the pH scale. The HCl having 0 value and uh, the pH of lemon is 2 and the pH value of vinegar is 3, the pH value of apple is 4 and the pH value of banana is 5.2 and the pH value of tomato is nearly between the 4 and the pH value of uh, milk it is between 6 to 7 and the pH value of water is equal to 7. The water is a neutral com solution and uh, the baking soda pH value is 9 and so this, uh, this like we determine the value of pH in our daily life. If the, if uh, a substance is, if a substance is containing H plus ions, it called as acid and a substance is containing OH minus ions, it called as base. Okay. In a solution, if the H plus ions are increased, it called as acid. The decreasing of H plus ions is indicates the basic so basic nature solutions. Okay, friends. So we had uh, learned that what is acid, what is base, what is salt, and how can we identify them as acids, bases and salts. Uh, acid is nothing but uh, pH value less than 7 and it releases H plus ions and it is so, so to test and uh, it is neutralize the base. And what is base? Base is nothing but the pH value greater than 7, uh, it uh, neutralizes the acid, it uh, contains OH minus ions and it is bitter to taste. What is salt? Salt is nothing but the value of pH equal to 7 and salt formed due to one reaction that reaction is the reaction between acid and base to give salt and water is called a neutralization reaction and uh, if uh, the f if the f with the help of indicators we can identify the substances has acid or base or salt okay Now my special thanks to Now my special thanks to Now my special thanks to Dr B R Ambedkar sahib and uh, Professor J S Engar sir and our young and dynamic sir the Dr Priya P S Dr R S Pravin Kumar sir and also our Chief Minister K C R sir. Thank you for giving the giving me this opportunity and thank you Jay Bim Jay Swaros.